75 Hard. A dad's transformation. Hi everyone. This Saturday started early. It's the weekend, so you you normally try to tend to sleep in. Okay, sleeping in with two kids means like getting up at 7.30 or in an ideal world like 8.15. But today we had to get up ridiculously early because my son had a hockey tournament coming up at 9 o'clock in the morning, which was a car drive of like one hour 20 away. And the meeting was scheduled for 7.30. So we had to be at the hockey field, so at our hockey field to meet up the rest of the team at 7.30. So I had to get up at 6.30, get up the kids, obviously get myself ready, get up the kids. And there wasn't even time to kind of get proper breakfast for the kids. So we had to stop at a bakery and get get them like uh, ready to eat sandwich we met at this hockey play uh, at the hockey field and then headed out to the tournament when you get up this early in like expectation okay there's going to be a tournament um they were good the last couple of games and then you arrive and you they immediately lose the first game and you get this over parenting it's weird at least to say okay now i got up for this and he's losing and he's going to be in a bad mood yeah, but it's it's bad parenting to say stuff like that. But anyhow, the tournament wasn't too successful. It wasn't the best day for the team. And it is what it is. And obviously, it's a learning experience that people are better from time to time. And you need to figure out a way to kind of deal with it and grow from it. So I think um, the guys did it pretty good. But um, obviously, that took away a big portion of the day. So I needed needed a plan how I get all my stuff in. When we came home, I immediately sat down. Um, we had a quick l- lunch. I even I don't even know what it was. What we ate, I can't remember. I picked one of the dogs and um, walked around the neighborhood because I still felt even when um, when it got intense on Friday that I was still a little bit under the weather and I want to keep it low key. So I had a walk with the dog um, around the neighborhood for like 50 minutes. And then I just, we just sat down and chilled a bit with the kids, played like a couple of games or when it was time for the kids to go to bed, my wife took care of them. And I went upstairs, worked on a couple of podcasts and editing. And while I was doing it, I rode the under the desk bike. And I know I said like, it, it didn't feel like a really proper workout but this time i made it a bit harder and i since i'm still a little bit under the weather it definitely felt like a um, a workout because i started sweating so i said okay let's count that as a workout today yeah aside from that it wasn't too stressful to get all this stuff done the gallon went its way because i took it with me and when you're on a long car drive I feel like you automatically start kind of drinking your water and I was done with the gallon when we got back home. Yeah, it was it was cool. It was a fun day, um, but not too exciting. I had a cool, cool, cool um, dinner with, together with my wife. So what I've done, I prepared like this lentil couscous I already talked with you about, which has a ridiculous amount of, of protein with like red cabbage. And I found like vegan nuggets that didn't have any any added sugar so um, I did like this cool school salad with red cabbage red onions garlic a ridiculous amount of parsley I had left in the fridge and kind of decided them with this vegan nuggets and it tasted really really well yeah and that's it sat down on the couch and chilled for like an additional hour with my wife and then went to bed uh, going through that list really quick. So walk with the dog around the neighborhood. Second worker was the under the desk bike. I stick to my diet. I drank my gallon of water, read my 10 pages. I haven't had any alcohol and I didn't cheat. So that was a good day. Thank you for tuning in. Looking forward to day 24 
and hear you tomorrow. Bye.